Now, my next guest became a household name in the 80s for his comedy alongside the late Mel Smith. Since then, Griffiths Jones has starred in so many TV shows, but he's back on the stage this month in a festive classic as Scrooge in A Christmas Carol. It's so good to see you. You're ready to be the most hated man, apart from the Grinch. <laughs> oh, that, <laughs> for well, Christmas time. <laughs> I have to say, what's really weird, you look around in the Christmas schedules and there's everybody doing Scrooge. I know. Uh, including Philip Hammond. It's, and so... it's, it's outrageous. <laughs> <laughs> he does but it so well. No, but this is this is um, <laughs> luckily this is sort of slightly different because this is a this is a musical. Yeah. So uh, we sing the whole story. You look very well in it, I have to say. It's by Alan Menken, and it's ah. been who wrote Aladdin and Beauty and the, and the Beast and uh, and Little Shop of Horrors. And the right. music is really, I mean, uh, I. So far, in rehearsals, I can't finish one song because I cry. Oh, really? Over, little, over Tiny Tim. It's so... Oh, the, the music is so beautiful and it's so wonderful, at last, to be asked to sing something where, you know, I can give my full emotion and Indeed. do my singing in the bath, you know, uh, on stage in front, of a, in front of a huge orchestra. It's very, 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 very exciting. It's terrific. And I love... The, the thing about love about you and I always have is your passion for everything that you do. Um, because you, you wouldn't do it otherwise, but you do get really sort of, so sort well, of involved in 100%, that's great. It's funny, it's, uh, around this uh, time of year, I'm, usually I'm in a taxi and the taxi driver says, what, what's, what pant are you doing this year, Griff? And I say, <laughs> I've never done a pant. <laughs> <laughs> and I've done a lot of different <laughs> Christmas shows, including all of them. Yeah, but I've never, I've never really done a pen. I went to the Willows, which I did at the National all yeah. those years ago, yeah, play yeah. Mr. Toad all, but I've never done a panto. So sometime I must do a panto. You must. But I have a huge passion for, for the Christmas carol. I've done it before, actually, at, yeah. the, um, at the, uh, the Festival Hall, but that was playing the big part, which is the part of Dickens. Of course, I remember that. That's right. That's well, right. That's right. So this, yeah. where can we see you? Because it's it's only for two. It is it's two nights, but one it, matinee. And so that's because it's a huge concert performance with a giant orchestra and chorus and all that stuff. Be great. And it's on on the uh, 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 the tenth and the seventeenth at the uh, the Lyceum, which is uh, you know with that Proper. big theatre, really grown. Up. And uh, we've got we've got two performances on the seventeenth. Yeah. So, uh, so there's a mess in there as well. Now, look, is it true that you've not had a drink for 30 years? That's the truth. Yeah. You look really well on 35 it. 35 years. Clearly. Is it 35 years? 30, 35 years, it? four days and three hours. Right. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and 15 years with no sugar? Well, uh, yes, I, I've just... Refined uh, sugar kind of thing. Yes, I... And do you have carbs then? Yeah, no, I don't. So what do you eat, though? I eat, I eat a lot of vegetables. A lot oh, of, right, OK. You know, a lot of things like aubergines and tomatoes. And all. I eat a lot of fruit. You look really well on it. I think do I should you... maybe change my No, you look, be, you, look, you look well yourself. I eat everything and drink everything. Do you? Well, how do you manage that? Because I don't I've, know. <laughs> I've got the most enormous appetite. Once I start, I am the sort of person, if I see a biscuit, I, think, I just have a biscuit. When I look again, the packet of biscuit oh, is completely gone. So. I don't trust people that can only eat one biscuit of a packet. There's something wrong with them. That's yeah. not right. Well, That's exactly. not right. That's not... Do you have a blowout sometimes, though? I do. Just sort of say, oh, yeah. you know, I'll just... Well, my daughter and I... A little while, we formed a thing called the Pudding Club. I think I should... I think I should definitely That's turn this into... That's a great idea. And that meets once... once a month. Right. Uh, in a restaurant, which causes a great deal of uh, anguish, because my wife comes too, and she's very thin, and she doesn't mind. She's always choosing the restaurant right. where they have itsy bitsy. But we go deliberately to eat anything and everything, uh, lots of it. So the, Good. the waiters, if, you, if 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 a waiter is watching this and is very confused by a man sitting there, so can you bring us more bread, and please? More, and more, more bread, because you're having your blowout day, I'm which is my, absolutely my fine. Club day. Now look, have you seen Bohemian Rhapsody? The I movie about no. Queen? It's fantastic. Is it? Just... Mel was played by somebody in the cast list, yes. but Griff wasn't. I know. So I thought I'm they sorry. probably left Mel in without putting <laughs> me in. And now I discover somebody tells me that not even Mel makes no, an appearance, so we would not. Cut. We feel, you know, without yeah. us, it it's would have been the a... Same. They'd never have made it. Exactly. It's just not the same. I mean, you introduced them so beautifully that exactly. day. Exactly. What a day that was. It was. And you really... I, I, you almost forget, until you see that film again, you'll love it. It's, it's incredible. But until you see that movie again, you just realise how important that was. Well, what a, a huge day. day. And what a performance. And you know what? This is what... Uh, afterwards, after we'd done it, we, were, we went into the VIP area. And the VIP, and we're sitting there, Roger Daltrey and Princess wow. Di, and everybody's watching. And Mel sits down next to me, and we're watching the greatest live jukebox in the world. And Mel watches it for about two minutes, goes, Well, I'm off now. <laughs> Seen that now. I'm going to be home. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. And I said, Mel, what, yeah, what, are you doing? what are you doing? 
do you mean you're off? And he's, well, I've got a horse racing at Doncaster. <laughs> oh, that's why we loved him. That's why we loved him. <laughs>